Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, we got a new show for y'all. If y'all want us in y'all city, and we we gonna bring some live entertainment, some DJ battles. Man, you don't want that shit. Ooh. <laughs> I'm uh, talking about. At least about, that you don't want a battle. Uh, Darrell, let me tell you something about Darrell. Don't tell me shit. Let me tell you something about Darrell. <laughs> he, he a good teacher, but I'm a fast learner. Huh? Okay. Huh? I don't care what you learned. I'm, I'm telling you, my I, skills. I got stuff in the arsenal. I don't show everything. Oh. Well, bring it out then. If you're scared, if you're scared <laughs> say you're scared, because I, I respect that. Okay? Nah, nah, I ain't scared shit. Okay. But anyway, if y'all want us in your like, city. Uh, okay. Right, I'm like, what's going on here? We finna start. Figure fit. Right. <laughs> which one you like? We, we, uh. Is this on? It's on. Oh. Right. If y'all want us in your city, <laughs> let us know. We might come. We might come through. Okay. Right. You know what I'm saying? Sales. It's hot in here. My it's getting yes. better. Hey, y'all. A bit lower. What's up, TJ? Oh, we got LA in the house? I think. No, no, that's Clear Lake. I'm sorry. Do, 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 do. Wow. <laughs> Did you really just do that? <laughs> oh, but it's been a long day, y'all. It's been a long day. I'm going to take it kind of easy. Yeah, we we gotta let you run this. <laughs> yeah, so, thank you. Thank you so much. Who watched Beyonce on Coachella? Oh, that was the Coachella. <laughs> I I seen it. Saw, saw a portion of it. Uh, I heard. Which it. portion working. did you say? Uh, the HBCU party from she was just getting it. Mm -hmm. She so, gave us a, a lot of HBCUs. Yeah, she had, she had, she had, she had a lot of big HBCUs. I didn't. It wasn't on the It was like she had that yellow shirt on, yellow hoodie with the. Y'all go to that link so you can see the whole panel. I, I got I got the link. I just uh I haven't watched the whole thing yet, but it was nice. I'm not a, I'm not really part of the behind, but after oh, like, you, are you not a oh no you did Ali said he was I a brown boy. Oh my goodness, she was. You know who Ali is, right? Like, come on. Ali the comedian, mm -hmm. he, had, he had did a post and was saying, can men join the beehive? I'll be a brown hornet. So, so <laughs> that's funny though. Make a shirt, everything. It's a, a, a yeah, he had the uh, whatever. She had the she had the bugaboos in there. Kind of like school days. The uh, the the uh, the guys. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was nice. Yeah, she did a great job. No, she she, did. she the, really did. The argument on the radio this morning was: Is she a better performer than Michael Jackson? What kind of comparison? No, you can't. What are we doing? No, we're not doing Who that. Who said that? Today. Which radio? You show? Remember how we, we're not doing you remember that. How some See, that's why nobody compare? listens to ninety-seven nine no more. You remember? You remember some weeks uh, last week we didn't compare some groups with. Other groups that's yeah, yeah. One of the guys this guy yeah. living all that. Yeah, yeah, he can't really. Yeah, no, not at all, not at all. <laughs> no, that's great. Michael Jackson. So they can say Michael. she's the greatest 
performer alive? Alive? Nope. Who? Uh, no, we're not doing you right now, Silky. <laughs> you're going to name somebody that no one is gonna agree with. That ain't gonna say Metallica. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll say Metallica. Gonna say Anthony Hamilton. That's exactly what I was gonna say. You said you felt that, didn't you? Yes, I did. He's gonna say because Anthony Hamilton does give a good performance. Does give a good performance. But he ain't gonna grab that crowd like Beyonce. But I mean, I, they could if they if they had the shot. If they had that same stage and same. You know, performer. We're talking about singing, dancing, whole, full on. Yeah, I'm saying about to be out there. That's what I mean. I'm saying a what? full. Whoa. 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 She saw her live. She just said, "Oh, what you doing at Beyonce concerts?" What do you okay. mean? <laughs> oh, is there a certain <laughs> criteria? Uh, no, I, I right think now, she, did, well, <laughs> because of, I don't know my understanding, about. she was a Beyonce fan. I mean, <laughs> well, wait, wait, when did I ever say I'm not a Beyonce fan? Back in the day, when you you mean? are. You know what? There are segments on the show where. Silky makes up shit. He just straight <laughs> makes up shit that never happened, never existed. This is one of those moments. Just be talking. Just talking for the hell of having words come out of his mouth. But okay. Is my <laughs> mic? I, I don't know why I feel like my mic not on. They're mic low. Turn them over. I don't know. I can't. Tap, low. tap it. Let me see. I just feel funny. Yeah, they're low. They're low. Yeah, it's on. It's on, oh, but oh, they're okay. low. Try right okay, there. Okay. No, we good. No, can I, I see can't even hear you. I'm gonna just go put my. I see where I'm going. That's loud enough. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Ask the people up there. Can y'all hear me? I can't hear nothing. Hey guys. Can y'all hear me speaking? <clears throat> Check one. Engineer? I, I hear him. Uh, uh, some, somebody say something. What's good, Travis? Uh. <laughs> and my cousin up there. Hey, Lou. Can you guys hear us clearly? I can't hear you in these at no. all. It's okay. <laughs> well, fuck it. Go Beyonce. Oh, Trav. Oh. He, he, TJ can hear us. He said, "What's good?" He no, said that, cool. that a long time ago. Oh, but no, I think I think somebody would have said something though. By now, they would be like, "We can't hear y'all" because they clearly uh -huh. seeing our mouths move. Somebody would have typed, "I can't hear y'all." So we good though. Let's go Beyonce. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> It was a good show. It was a good show. It was entertaining, very. She used the uh, she used the whole stage. She used that whole uh, uh, what what the bleachers she had up there. They was light, they, different lights was coming up. She used I like the I like the drummers when they was coming and uh, doing like the intros of the mm -hmm. songs. She did the national black anthem. Yes, she sung that, did she? She did. You go Creole. But you don't even know it. I know some of it. I don't know the whole thing. Because I, I had to sing both the know. first and the second stance to you because you didn't know it. I, I could sing the whole thing. Y'all don't know it? You don't know it? I don't know. You don't know it? No. no. You know I learned that in junior high. They, they didn't teach me that. Yeah, they, 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 they taught us that. The or we, no, I think we said <laughs> we wanted to learn it. That's good. No. So, I mean, I know some of it. <laughs> I mean, but that was in Phoenix. So we 4% like. black in Phoenix and we learned it. Yeah, they definitely did teach us that. And actually, I didn't even hear about the Black National Anthem. I got like older, older, like in my twenties. No, I agree. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. I heard on the movie. I didn't know that was a thing. I said the Black National Anthem. We got a National Anthem. Oh, dang! I thought that was no, I guess we were a little more radical. It's kind of like when you got a small group of people. Mm -hmm. You got to be more radical. Yeah, they went like that to push it. They went like it on Highway Six. Oh, we did it over there. I'm over there singing the Star Spangled Banner. I got. <laughs> yeah. That's all you know. Yeah, I know the rest, but I gotta jump in with people like, like, <laughs> like a lot of people singing. Yeah, yeah, a lot Blender. of people singing. Pretty much, yeah, pretty much black background on that. Yeah. But anyway, we gonna we gonna try to do it for we gonna do it to you for an hour today. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> Second. <laughs> dang! Hey. Dang! Hey. Dang! Oh my God! Wow! <laughs> wow! Wow! That's not true, girl. That is not true. 
Oh yeah, you can. Uh, never mind. Well, what just happened? Uh, what are so, the comments uh, <laughs> of? Uh, well, we gonna talk no. about. Uh, we gonna go ahead and talk about Starbucks, uh, obviously, and a couple more uh, things we was talking about uh, amongst each other. The uh, incident that happened in what was it? Philadelphia. Oh, with the two soldiers. Yeah, with the soldiers. Starbucks, oh. Philadelphia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't and, know uh, where they were. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I'm what, not too sure where they were at. Yeah, what restaurant? You know, looks like Chili's. Yeah, it was some like soldiers. Some, like a Chili's or Applebee's. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. it looked like some sort of uh, Applebee uh, Chili's like place. Like a uh, two for twenty place. Two for twenty. Okay. But yeah, uh, we can talk about that first and then lead to the other stuff. What, the soldier stuff? Yeah, the soldier stuff. I don't know what happened on the video. It was a video, and all I seen was a lady yelling at two lady soldiers, a white lady yelling at two black lady soldiers, and she was like, don't record me, and she started actually start swinging at them. Yeah, I saw that. Don't know what happened. Do you know? Well, I read that um, what happened was that these this couple followed these two soldiers into um, the restaurant. But as they were following them in, they were calling them lesbians and all types of stuff. And once, you know, well, anyways, they're, they're calling them all types of names. And so when they finally turn around to address the couple, um, they started to record them. And that's when they started to, uh, I guess, get feisty. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the soldiers, she was pregnant. And there's the the male or whatever is trying to snatch the camera, like forcefully snatch this camera out of the pregnant lady's hands. Mm -hmm. And um, the other soldier is still very calm, saying things like, ma'am, ma'am, I just, you know, I wouldn't have been that nice. But, you know, um, eventually... um, I guess they went outside and the police came and they arrested the, oh, I, my, my bad, the white couple, it was a white couple, um, and two black women soldiers. Um, but the police eventually came and arrested the white woman that instigated the entire incident. So you mean they followed them in the restaurant from the parking lot? Mm-hmm. For what? Just antagonize them. And when the soldiers finally like turned arrest. around... Mm-hmm. Yeah, when the soldiers finally turned around to address them and start recording them because of their behavior, um, yeah, that's when it got pretty bad. It's crazy, man. It's getting it's getting real wild out here, fellas. Folks, people. It sounds like a bunch of unnecessary shit. <laughs> unnecessary antagonizing, bullying. That's what it is. But they, you know, where they get it from? They president. That's all he does. Oh, you think that's where they got their? Uh, that's where they getting their confidence? courage. Yeah, their confidence and courage from they. They 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 getting it they they, they, from the command. They, they so, get so they were feeling like get your ass whooped. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but he did say, "Oh, just sock him in the face. I'll uh, I'll bail you out." Remember that? Oh yeah, that was during his campaign. Yeah, right? man, yeah. I'm yeah. that dumb shit. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh yeah. 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 After say he said it at a uh, at a rap at a um, yeah one of the rallies. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, still well. <laughs> Sock him in the face, I'll bail you out. I didn't know that happened. Yes. But okay. Unbelievable. Wait, it's the old ass now. Well, well she's she got arrested. I wonder what's gonna happen now. Hmm. Nothing. Hmm. Did she did she just throw a punch or she was just trying to yeah. point? Yeah, they was. Yeah, they was trying to attack. Did you see the goo? <clears throat> she did a look at it, it was she's no problem through. She's clearly pregnant. Through. And the crazy thing is that they're clearly It didn't connect. <laughs> it really did. It was, <laughs> it was like it was like her her, her wrist just got like noodly. <laughs> she, tried like, to, she tried to unzip her jacket. From yeah. my understanding, even though I can't hear this right now, from my understanding the lady tried to say there were some black men that were trying to come at them. But it oh, happened. It's always the Yeah, but what the cops said was the just just suspicious have, black man. Yeah. The cop yeah. is always around. But, what black man? We didn't see any black no, man. No, no, no. The black man stole my car, <laughs> took my kids. No. He was it's always this, this one black man that white women always know about. And they, they don't find The him. cop tells them, from my understanding, uh, yeah, it's always that. Oh, who, who is that black guy? 
Because he took that lady, and remember her kids that was in the back seat? She's a black man carjacked her, but really, she was the one that drowned her kids. Right. Oh, exactly. instead of black man. Yeah. yeah. I remember that. that was like so it's always years. like, yeah, this black man that does all these this yeah. horrendous black things. Man. This uh, <clears throat> sneaky, mysterious black man pops up everywhere. Yeah, he's a white black kid. man. Yeah. He's dark skinned. He's a black man. <laughs> he, was probably... he was between 5'2 and 6'6. Six, six. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he had a afro, but it was kind of like a bald head. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. So it covered then everything. They, then and they, he was wearing a multicolored shirt. Yeah, he had, he had locks on the top. I was just about <laughs> to say, then they find some seven foot man with locks. Mm -hmm. Man, you, you fit the description. Right, really, sir? Really? I just realized though. what they're playing. I got locked up. I heard that. I was like, <laughs> So what y'all think about the uh, two Starbucks incidents? They have two of them. You know that, right? Uh, no, I know of one, one incident. They have two of them. They had a guy. Actually, he started recording after he seen the little white guy go in the restaurant. So he started recording, and he waited till the white guy came out of the restaurant. When the white guy came out of the restaurant, he was just like, hey, how you doing? Hey, you look familiar. Did anybody ever tell you that? You know, trying to give him a talk. Mm -hmm. And it's like, did you um, did you buy anything first? Uh, and the guy was like, oh, no, I just came to the bathroom. They gave me the code. Okay, cool, because uh, they told me I would have to buy something first before I use the restaurant. And then he said, what's your name? Like, dude named Todd or whatever. So he said, oh, come come to the uh, register with me. He was like, hey, y'all, guess what? Todd didn't buy anything yet. <laughs> and uh, y'all let him use the restroom. I mean, how come y'all didn't let me use the restroom? Y'all told me I have to buy something first. Sir, you have to get out. Sir, you have to get out. Call the cops on him. They put him out. Damn. I ain't look up this story. Yes. That's crazy. I, I shared it. That's some whole shit. Look up my page. Now, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> went through that just to prove a point. I feel it. I just I don't like police in my life. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> I with you. Ain't to now I found a nice little flower pot. What page is? <laughs> it's it's on your Facebook. Oh, yeah. that. It's like. Uh... Well, I don't know what to say about that uh, particular incident. Oh Lord, right. it must be this. Right there. Yeah. It was a. Uh, he said it's a. It was a code that you got planned to get in the bathroom. Yeah, you got to put oh, a code okay. in the bathroom. So they let him in, but didn't let the other guy in. I'm good for walking in places use the bathroom. Like, damn thing. I got to go. <laughs> yeah. That was a short video. Oh, okay. And so <clears throat> that was one Starbucks incident. Then oh, of he's course, recording him in the bathroom. Of course, <laughs> of course, the other incident at the Starbucks was the two guys got arrested for sitting in using a Wi-Fi. Actually, they was waiting on their friend. Just waiting on a friend to come. Waiting on a friend to come. And got the cops called and got arrested. And you say they had to sit and hold him for like how long? To one a.m. that morning. And so they didn't just like let like you know remove them from the store. They actually this is a pretty big Starbucks. So I'm surprised they actually did that here. Oh, oh I know where that is. Redondo. Wait a minute. Look at my girl. Who is that talking? Because I know. What is going on with these store managers? Well, this is somebody store I know. Manager. Her? Yeah. A thirteen dollar guy. That's recording. Are they gonna show his face? No. I just tried to use the bathroom like you did. I'm not in it. That's what. If he, uh, you can see his post. Uh, see who the name who posted it. Oh. That was in the shade room. Wait, who shared it? Brandon Ward. Okay. okay. Is that you? Um, I think I've been to that Starbucks That's actually. It? Mm -mm. Oh. But I've been to that Starbucks hmm. in California. Um, it's, not, it's a nice one too. When this incident happened? When were they saying this? I saw that today. Happened? I don't know when it happened actually. Saturday. Right. Starbucks. What's the problem? Well, since they've been. I just drank two caramel fraps today, Grande's. Sorry, y'all. Wait, I today? You oh, said oh, 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 man. Man, to be protesting. Come on, man. What's... Let me tell you what happened. I had a long weekend and I woke up <laughs> and I, I like that sausage chicken biscuit they got in the morning and I like my caramel fraps <laughs> with extra caramel. I didn't know. 
until like around 4 30. Then somebody told me you heard about Starbucks. I was like, oh shit. Um, no. <laughs> I showed you drunk too these motherfuckers. <laughs> I didn't know. But then see, but then they told me it was outside the city. So I was like, well, you know, maybe some of them things are franchised. I said, well, Houston yeah. Starbucks ain't do nothing to me. Oh, anybody here? Because Houston people are nice. Well, so, I'll, I'll say, say this. No yeah, because Magic Johnson got a Starbucks. <laughs> so do you. you. Yeah. I'll, I'll say this. Uh, yesterday, I, I was asked if I was going to keep going. I am a gold member at Starbucks. It's so sad. Me too. <clears throat> <laughs> That's how much. Yeah, I've got like got 11 caught. rewards uh, of free drinks. But, uh, so I was, you yeah, know, um, I was asked if I was going to continue to go and I was like, well, I want to wait and see what Starbucks does. And they're like, um, no, you should go see the update. And so when I looked at the update, I looked at Starbucks, their apology, I see that and me. their apology bothered me because their apology stated, you know, if there's, we apologize for basically, if there's anything in our policy that basically caused us, we're going to review our policies. And I'm like, well, you didn't just flat out say that your manager was wrong, you know. Um, at the end of the day, Starbucks or any of these coffee shops are set up where people just come in and study. It's not a restaurant mm -hmm. where they come and they serve you and then they need a table to be turned over so that they you don't can have serve to buy additional sure. people. Yeah, that <clears throat> is not the setup of Starbucks. And, you know, I've seen where the Starbucks have like the closed or locked doors and you can only go in and if you um, are paying for something, but those are really normally really small right. Starbucks. Really small like they're normally yeah. really small one. Like so, the video we just saw, it was a nice size Starbucks. So I'm surprised that uh, they did that. But then if Starbucks is going to start having that as a, a policy that their managers are going to start to enforce, they need to change the setup of um, their stores, and they're going to lose a lot of customers. Yeah, because people go in there and chill. They go in there and have meetings. I, and I just, I just came from Starbucks having a meeting. I just went up there. I did buy a camera. Right there. I'm so sorry, y'all. Damn. But yeah, I mean, I mean they, I, wait. Did they, did they get rid of the manager? I don't know about so this. So the, the manager for not the incident we just watched, but from the incident with the two men, uh, they did get rid of him. Uh, but this incident, the one you just showed us, they need to get rid of her too. They need uh, to. So because I hope, it's I hope not that this particular just... incident goes pretty viral as well because you can't pick and choose who yeah, you're giving the bad. bathroom code to. You can't pick and right. choose who can sit in t inside of the re Well, it's not even a restaurant. It's just like some little cafe. If anything, all these little coffee shops are set up similar to Starbucks where you either buy or you don't buy. So I don't know why the incident that happened you in buy Florida. now. Yeah, you, you buy, you go. <laughs> <laughs> you buy now. Buy now. You buy, buy now. now. You go. <laughs> You know, and now I don't know how people are going to feel about this, but this is my, my thoughts. I'm right there with uh, Darrell where I do not uh, like dealing with the police. So even if I would have gone toe to toe with the people or the managers at the Starbucks and said like, wait, why are you kicking me out? Blah, blah, blah. When the police came, I would have been like, <laughs> I think that's what, what happened did. with the, no, because what happened with well, that's what this guy did. Yeah, that, the two black men, from my understanding, in Philly, told the police no three nah, times, yeah. and that's why the police arrested them. You know, now it should have never escalated to that because the manager should have never called the police to begin with for two people that are sitting. You know, it wasn't bothering anybody. And yeah. I and I do and, think that I think the police at least to the ask, well, why? I think they. They shouldn't just they come don't in care. and just be arresting folks. Hey, this person said you gotta go and get the fuck out. But the, the problem is if there's a business that's being, if, if it's a place of business, they can refuse service. Mm -hmm. Regardless, at the end of the day, that's the setup. Yeah, they can yeah. refuse service even if they're back in Jim Crow foolishness times. They can mm -hmm. refuse services and the police can escort the person, the people out. Yeah, but that's, I mean. That's what it is. And even with the other, I mean, it had other people in there saying, hey, what the hell? Like, Trying to back up the two black mm -hmm. ladies. Mm -hmm. We didn't do nothing. Say we do this all the time. You guys have never called the police on us. Mm. What are your um your <clears throat> thoughts, viewers, yeah, on the Starbucks can, incident? Y'all can call in at 713714. Can I get one more camera for before I start? Okay. Yeah. Hey, now. look, when I say I go or I was seven, going six, every seven, day, eight. I have not gone. And you I would can go, go to the cafe right there on Almeida. What's cafe? Okay. I, just, I, was just, I was just there um, Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, yeah, they got free Wi Fi. I was having a meeting there. It's cafe with the cake. It's a black owned uh, yeah, yeah. Oh. coffee shop. It's nice, too. Actually, that's my first time going. Wait, I you said it's off where? 
Um, no, it's on Alameda. Alameda and Sophomore. Yeah. So you you know like where the Walgreens right is? Right next to Harvard Boulevard. See, so you all live by here. Oh, yeah, that's true. But there's 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 well there's Manuti by me. Okay. Yeah, it's, 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 it's another coffee shop. Yeah. Well, or you could go to Thoroughbred. That was opened by um, Pastor Rudy. Who? Who that? Rudy Hook. <laughs> Rudy, what's his name? I don't know. The pastor for um, we going to hell. <laughs> St. John's downtown. Oh, you know, oh. I didn't know his name. I yeah, he has a coffee a shop. Person. It's called Thoroughbred. Mm. And he has a coffee shop. There's like probably about four of them. What? Four black owned coffee shops. Four black owned coffee shops. Four black -owned Houston, coffee shops in Houston. <laughs> and you want your caffeine fix? <laughs> They're wrong with Am my I head. spelling this wrong? I don't know. Yeah, thorough. Yeah. Thorough yeah. bread. Oh. Look it up. It's it's nice. Too. Wait, you see me out? Both of them are nice. Like that one is nice. Yeah, Pastor. Pastor Rudy Rasmus, I think his name is. His last name. Oh. Remus Wright? No, not Remus. No. Mm -hmm. No, not, not Fountain of Praise. What's up, Dre? St. John. St. John downtown, the people who feed the homeless all the time. Oh, yeah, well, Beyonce and them church. Yeah, and they let you, like, and they were letting, like, during one time when it got real cold, uh, they let uh, actually homeless sleep inside the, church. the sanctuary. That's, that's nice. They got yeah, a big They do that too. a lot, though. That's good. Yeah, they that's do good. a lot of good stuff. I've been there a couple times. Uh, I think I spent the church. Hold on, what's it called again? Thoroughbred. Thoroughbred, like a horse. Oh, Thorough good. good came yeah, 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 yeah. Thorough good. Off of Thorough 610 good. and like oh. West 27th Street? Yeah, Thorough good. Okay, Sorry. gotcha. Yes, sir. Hip hangout for coffee and tea drinks serving local baked goods and industrial chic environments. Yes. Yes. Black owned. All right. Okay. And then caffeine, coffee. I don't even know what shop, So if you want your caffeine. Check out that shop. one. Caffeine. Get the right name because I don't know if I'm getting Which one? Right. It called? Caffeine with a K. And I'm pretty sure those folks have Wi Fi. You can sit in, chill. You can... I work up at caffeine sometimes. Oh, you talk about the one on Alameda? The one, on. yeah, the one on Alameda. Oh, so they definitely they have Wi-Fi. They have Wi-Fi. Yeah. You can sit outside or inside. What's the name of it again? It's called Caffeine Coffee Internet and Office Cafe. Oh, it's, it, see? The internet is in the name. With it's got a nice little setup. It's similar to Starbucks. It's nice. Fast Wi-Fi, too. Not like Ooh. some Not that, like that 3G shit. Yeah, they, right. got, uh, they got about four or five modems up in there. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it was a nice little spot, though. It was cool little spot. The white folks be up in there too, chill. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice place. Why not? Check it out. Check, check, check it out. They have teas, they have chives, they have coffees. They have everything. That's what all the time. What's up, Delphio? For real. We got... Oh, it's on the dresser. The little thing. But, uh... Yeah, man. And actually, back to that Starbucks thing. See, if you would've caught me around the age of 25, hey, I probably would've been in jail, too. At the age of 32 going on 33, I probably just would have left because I'm on problems. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, you need to get up. Man, for what? Sir, you need to go. Cool. And then yeah. come back. I'm asking what first. I'm, I'm a man. I'm still a man. And then you're going to pump me in front of these people. Why? All right. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. just like that. You know what? Ha. 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 But I am glad for what I did see. They just walked out mm -hmm. like calm. Um, and they, and they were done no with scene. it. Yeah, yeah they, they didn't make a scene, scene at all. They because they want no problem. My lawyer. They ain't want. They ain't want them. They ain't trying to get held up or accidentally shot. Cause y'all like to do that. Accidentally. Right. Uh, yeah. Accidentally. He was resisting and arrest. Accidentally shot because yeah. he was. It looked like he was pulling out a gun. And then yeah. that nigga was drinking his caramel frap. He put his own. Uh, but but they didn't order nothing, so he wasn't drinking. Oh well, damn. No frap. <laughs> so I, I, I do love that green green tea lemonade they got. But yeah, that's I tell you, that's But cool. caffeine has it. They Most coffee the shops, the same if thing. you go to them and you just know the type of flavors you want in your drink, you can explain what you want and don't make it. Yeah. Mm. Oh, let me get this. So I'm gonna get my tall. I'm not a real coffee drinker. Maybe because I don't like I don't like to get I don't like to get too antsy. Mm -hmm. It don't make me antsy. I mean, it would make me antsy. Yeah, he already ADHD. <laughs> 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 I don't really do nothing. I don't want to get too antsy. I feel weird. I might do too much. You like know that what? random ass laugh you did? <laughs> that. Yeah. 
Y'all yeah, know one time I was uh I was trying to lose weight, I was working out, and I took some uh ah, uh, what was the hydroxy cut. Oh no. And I I was running and I, I took uh because I was on it for a while. And then I took some, I took one on there, I felt real, real energetic. I was like, whoo, I'm going, I'm going run today, I'm going in. I started running around the track, one lap, two lap. Three laps. I was like, I can't stop running. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. I didn't know I was out there by myself. I didn't know if I was gonna pass out. You still have a heart attack. Yeah, you're you're out. Out. You're you're out. Out. That, that shit, that hydroxy is masking that your ass is really tired and you need to stop. Exactly. Yeah, I, 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 was, I was scared, scared, scared because I was like, fucking when I got to the car. Yeah. yeah, when I got to the car, I was all. <laughs> I drunk a little water, wasted. I was out of shape. That part felt good though, but you know, all the nervous and shaky part was. Uh-uh, I was like, I ain't doing no hot drinks to cut in my mouth. Yeah. And then that, after that, they took it off the market. That one, the one I was on. Oh, well, you smiled on the one with some fin fan in it from back in the day. Yeah. Remember that? Fin fan. Y'all remember that fin? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I'm like, oh. First of all, I haven't heard of that. Fucking <laughs> forever. <laughs> Yeah, you remember that fin fin? Oh, yeah. I ain't gonna say that because I don't know who on this live, but yeah, don't say that. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> I, most of the people was on that fin fin. That stuff was, yeah, it was Strong. amphetamine, basically. Oh, yeah, they were skinny real fast. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah they were skinny real fast. Yeah, I mean, you I'm, be skinny and real I was fast. Good pace too. A good fast pace, and I couldn't stop that. Pace. I think I think, you, I think that Sorry, first right? hydroxy yeah. cut had amphetamines in it. Yeah, and they did take it off the market. Yeah. Did you lose a lot of weight? Yep, because you smoked <laughs> meth. That was meth. That was meth. I was on meth and running, and running. <laughs> I was running foul. Like, oh my god, I can't stop. I can't stop. I said, I'm gonna stop on the next lap. I no, so so I speaking of, that's exactly what that congressman. What's his name? Larry Green? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. So I so could have died. Yeah, you could have died from that. That's why that's they took it off the market. That's why they took it off the market. It was messing with people's hearts. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, I know I didn't feel like that. Can you take that stuff? I know I didn't feel like that. I'll never run like this. So no. weird. Yeah, because I was running fast. Like, too fast yeah, to be running should, that many laps. Like I said, I do one lap to be finished. Yeah. I was like, I was been six times. I was like, wait a minute. I can't move. I'm not even sweating. I didn't die that day. Damn, yeah. Try to get in the shape. You better lose weight the regular way. Yeah, Did you guys hear about that um, prison riot that happened the other day no. in South Carolina? Mm -hmm. they, I think it killed seven, seven people. Ooh. But the riot was basically about money and turf, but not on the inside, turf. on the outside. So y'all niggas fighting on some shit, y'all. No, they, they running, no, they are oh, running, they, they running inside. shit in the prison. Cause of course they got phones, you know, everybody yeah, got, yeah, I mean, yeah. they got so many phones. They got phones, they have a riot for. for something going on. They're not experiencing themselves out there. Yeah, but they, they control it. And they make the money. Yeah, and so the money comes to them. Yeah, it's coming to them, and it's probably benefiting their family. Yeah, and it's waiting on them when they get out. So it was a big riot, and she so don't understand. I know, I understand. My whole stance with something like that is that's not a solid plan because it's what's stopping somebody from saying, "We ain't, we don't care, <laughs> dude. You locked up." Uh, uh, torture Sis. video. That's what's it ain't no solid plans. They in prison. <laughs> <laughs> the plans went awry a long time ago. Okay, well that's what I mean. Since their plans didn't work and it landed them in there, how can you still punk and bully me in there? I ain't listening to because you. Because they got that power. You what? enough for no. life. Oh, you enough for life for real. But if they got relatives that's in there, they gonna they get can, you. Yeah. They can say, hey, I need you, and hey. they hey, keep all the neighborhood. When I'm missing, you need to go around the corner and do this. Kilo, 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 uh, the phone signals that come into prison. They can do that the way they do prison. Yeah, but they're it. not going to do that because it violates some type of civil rights no, or something. And also, 
You know they're slaves. The guards work for the prisoners. They're slaves. A lot of them. Yep. They're not slaves. They're, are you serious? Some of them not. All prisoners are slaves. Come on, Priscilla. The 13th I mean, Amendment Niger. makes prisoners slaves. Niger. In, in the county. The 13th Amendment in county makes jail. all prisoners what's the, what's slaves. The are we serious? Was that real? Is that a real question? Yeah, that's <laughs> they had a they had a well, whole documentary. That's, that's on it. Yeah, it's called Thirteen. You know, Netflix. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it says it says that slavery is legal. It's illegal except for um, during involuntary servitude. Oh, that. Okay. Which is prison and yeah. jail. They're slaves. They are legally slaves. But so what rights? They have rules that are being broken by certain individuals that are actually running the prison. And they are locked up. And he is right about the the guards and the the people. They they are controlled sometimes by the prisoners oh, yeah. because they got power. They got power on the outside. Yeah. Uh, they take say, your family you out. Yeah, if you don't do this, all kinds of stuff. That's when you need to put well, your job. Well, it's not putting you can't. That work and then you know, too. and you know, just because people put are, are prison play. guards, don't mean they ain't got addictions. Don't mean they exactly. got shit going no, on. Yeah, so agree. they'll start yeah. doing drugs. They're not getting paid enough. They might have sex money. with the inmates. They do all kinds of stuff. They might want that extra I cash. I those stories that, that about the, uh, the women guards getting pregnant. I'm like, how? You just That's said, fuck my life. Again, that <laughs> <laughs> That's real. No, I'm talking about the women guards. <laughs> I know. That's real. Swinging by, by, the by the prisoners. Yeah. That's real. Life, life is never that sad. They, they hollered the boy. Hey, it's hey, never that sad. Yeah, you see Steven in cell five? Because I have some nephews that were correctional officers. I mean, he they only didn't, they he didn't only stay in at that long. Three people. It's all real. That's it. I mean, he go, I think I'm going to get him on parole because I know a few people. Go, no, hell no. I'm going to go fuck him today. <laughs> and sometimes they wait for the guys to get out of prison and then they'll quit their jobs as correctional officers and and be it up. Or some of the guys are in there on false charges. Well, I agree with that. Of course. And you can't say, oh, he's driven when he's in jail and like. So what? Let me give him this phone phone? Give it to him. Oh, man. No. I mean, and I then know. if they all from the I same know, city, they might have been hurt. It's well. been a while. Yeah. <laughs> so let me go ahead and give him this to L. That might have been their first one. Let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see it. Got a V12 Ben. Walked outside. You don't know the Black National Anthem. It is a Black National Anthem. It's a Black National Anthem. That's a nigga. I know that's UGK. Kiss that. Bang it up. Underground Kings of Texas, Louisiana. What am I listening to? The world, man. Worldwide. No, I don't know what I'm listening to. I'm scared. Don't be scared. Oh, UGK? You don't know UGK? I didn't know that that was UGK. Oh, yeah. I didn't hear the full. I'm sorry, my bad. Oh. You kissed that thing in the mouth, and she been playing with my part. That was the main line. Yeah. Oh. They said it was a black national anthem, the nigga national anthem. Nigga yeah. Anthem. Right. Boo. Mm-hmm. Right. <sighs> Matter of fact, I'm gonna like the <laughs> black national anthem. Thank just, you. Just yeah, I'm going to go just for you. Since I don't know the show, I feel bad. And I'm gonna sing it next week. All of it. The entire <laughs> thing. <laughs> Is it long? Yeah. It's kind of long. Like five minutes long? Yeah. Yeah. Shit. It's about a strong three, three and a half. Oh, it's almost like a regular song. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's like I thought you were here with some eight minute shit. I'm like, I don't know. No, I got like a verse. I got a song. And then after that, you got like a little bit more. And then they got, uh, it's over. No, mm-hmm. no, it's not facing the rising, rising sun. sun of a new day. And then it's See? some more after that. Oh, uh, you just saying the same thing over, but it's two. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'm on <laughs> that first part where everybody sings, but <clears throat> I, I know the whole song is long because I played it at my family. I bet you, you know all of the Pledge of, Pledge of Allegiance. Because you had to sing it a thousand times yeah, we, every day. We were brainwashed into saying that every day. Definitely. I agree. Actually, hold on. Do I still? I pledge allegiance to the flag, United States of America, to the Republic, which stands for a nation under God individual. See, subconscious. Brainwashed. brainwashed. Damn. I have, first of all, I haven't said that song in fucking forever. The fact I still remember that. And then what was the Texas one? 
Oh, I, I, I don't remember that. that. I don't remember that. That's it. Nah, it wasn't it. Yeah, I don't even know what the hell the Texas one. Yeah, I don't know the Texas one. You know it. No, I don't. But, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Do y'all still got y'all got still was doing that? In no, they could. The United States and Texas. I don't even remember doing that in high school. I think it was just <clears throat> elementary and middle school. I don't remember saying the pledge allegiance in high school. Yeah, no, I don't think they stopped the enforcing it. They they they, start, they still started the day with it, but they didn't enforce it. Yeah, yeah, we definitely had to stand up and. Well, the NFL enforces it. <laughs> hey, pledge allegiance. You know, it's you standing, it's standing for the flag. It's no. was it, America the Beautiful, America the Great, whatever that song is they play. Oh, is that the one? No, it's the Star Trek <laughs> Banner. Uh, How does the Star Trek Banner go? I don't. Is that a song or is it just that's what's music? Right? Or is that the? Oh, say okay. That's yeah. Star Trek Banner. No, I don't know. Yeah, that's what's saying. We do not know. Oh, beautiful. It doesn't matter. Space, it's 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 when is the original? Yeah, I think that's. That's, that's the song. America, America. Don't, don't sing it. Grace on Don't sing it. So anyway, because I was telling Sue the other day, or I was talking to somebody about how, but about how uh, Jehovah's Witnesses and uh, Muslims, they had never yeah, stood up. Yeah, Oh, okay. that's, no, that's Star Spangled They Spangled. they never stood up for any of that. Yeah, for that. They didn't have allegiance. Hey, exactly. I had so, I had two friends in school in, in Louisiana. Was uh, what's the big deal with Colin Kaepernick? Exactly. Bam. You you can you can bang the gavel on that. Yeah, I had two like, friends in Louisiana. So never stood. Your fingers on. And we asked them why. Yeah. They said because. I'm a Jehovah Witness and we don't do that. And nobody like everybody's like, oh okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. You know what's interesting? Uh, to me, Jehovah's Witnesses make uh, more sense. Even though I'm not a Jehovah's Witness, they just make a lot more sense. Well, okay. In terms of not celebrating certain things and not standing for certain things. I actually totally agree with them. Okay, you say Jehovah Witness. Baptists sing a song that says Guide me over, thy great Jehovah. Ain't that the same? Jehovah, they sound the same names, but they all trying to worship different stuff. Who said they're worshiping? What are they worshiping? Who is Jehovah? Jehovah Witness? What do you think they're worshiping? Jehovah Witness still believe in God. That's what I'm saying. You just but, said they're worshiping different things. I mean, different church is like split up. Christians believe in Christmas. And they... Wait, am I missing something? No. Are you? They I they believe in Christmas. Christians are Christians. I think his point is getting uh, co discombobulated in his mind. <laughs> no. I think, I think <laughs> I'm like, are they still Christians? <laughs> am I missing something? They're still so Christians. So is Jehovah Witnesses Christians? He's saying the they're name. Christians. Jehovah, Jesus, Yahweh, Allah. Is that what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, it's all the same, right? Uh, they, all, they all look at I mean, them. so we're going, we moving from one to another, though. You, you, Jehovah's Witnesses still believe in Jesus. And so they're still Christians. They're follow, They're witnesses of no, Jesus. They're not. Yep. Are they're you, not Christians. Don't, don't do that. They're not Christians. They don't believe the same things Christians believe. Because in. they don't believe in Christmas? Christmas. Well, you Christmas, must be a job Let's Christmas. look at what Christmas is. It's a made-up day that they said he was born. He wasn't born then. Okay, so he Christmas, wasn't born. Is Christmas he wasn't wrong born then. for believing that? They don't. Who believes that? Everybody. Anybody who believes that is uh, still uh, actual five-year-old stuff. Believe in Santa Claus. <laughs> well, yes, uh, unless you do. five years old <laughs> and you believe that he was born <laughs> December twenty-fifth, I would hope as an adult you do not believe. <laughs> That he was born the summer 25th. I hope not. A lot of people believe. If he was born. In Christmas. <laughs> <man. laughs> no, that's people that fail no, to they believe, read and they study they themselves. They believe in the presence. That's what they believe. Yeah, yeah they believe I'm presence. sitting here like, you know, are we really <laughs> doing this? We know this nigga was born. Are we really, are we really doing that? Like, he wasn't. My bad, Jesus. Uh, so, no, I don't I don't blame them for it's not actually, celebrating. It's actually like the springtime. Actually, yeah, what, what? And they don't celebrate holidays, any of these made up holidays. I just they they don't celebrate their birthday. They don't celebrate birthday. I'm about to say, what's the details? With, I actually forgot what the details with Jehovah's Witnesses. 
were. I just didn't want them at my damn door. <laughs> uh, okay, what's the deal? But with if them? you they actually they don't listen to them, them they don't I'll say in the this: holidays and what else is? They don't believe in celebrating things like that. But if you actually talk to talk to one, mm -hmm. like really just have a conversation with one, to me, I found them more knowledgeable than su supposed so-called Christians. They know way more about the Bible. Just saying, right? Because they they actually they, they really study, do study. study. They study. Uh -huh. So if you put like a Jehovah Witness. And like a Hebrew Israelite oh, and a nation of Islam be together. To watch. Well, be a, be a nice yeah. debate. The biggest debate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. it would be a nice See, debate. See, probably the way it is. <laughs> no, but, 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 <laughs> the way it was. But if you turn See, it back, you six five. Oh, no. Wait, did any of y'all used to watch those debates on uh, Sonetta TV? Yeah, oh, Sonetta. Yeah. What? The light skinned dude? Oh, yeah, my Sarah Sivinsetti. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought you were talking about him. But Sarah Sivinsetti and like people like Brother Polite would have debates. So oh, you see that I know, shows? yes. Do you know the, those debates? Do you remember and those then debates? They were no. And then Brother Polite. Y'all know who Brother Polite is? I know Brother Polite. With all those yeah, wives? Yeah, Brother Polite and... I probably got to see He that. got two wives. You see, we don't all those wives. <laughs> two I'm wives. Thinking, I'm thinking about seven. He got more than he that. He got more than two wives. Not even more. Yes, what do you mean? You making Since up when? stuff. You making up shit. No. Stop. Well, Stop. last time, Stop. last time. No. Last time I remember he had two. I don't know if he got any more. When, when was, was last two? time? Long time ago. I've been following Brother Polite. It was like, what, 10 years ago? Yeah, that's Brother Polite. Yeah, he looked like Joe. Yeah, Joe. and they've been, yeah. and, and they were going like back Joe and forth with, like, what's his name? <laughs> uh, I mean, Casey. Frederick Douglass' nephew. What's his name? Oh. oh uh, well, I lost respect for that man. No, uh, no. What, yes, I did. Wait, 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 wait. What's his name? The what? God, his face hold is up, in my up, mind. Because uh, he gets into it with Tariq Nasheed. Oh, yes, he does. Uh, he does. Umar. Umar Johnson. Umar Johnson. Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> Umar Johnson. That's yeah. my man. Umar Johnson. He be going in. Hey. But they, but they still wonder where that school is now. Man, I'm no, going to say, gonna I'm gonna say this. I, I, at one point in time, defended Umar, and I can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just can't. I can't. I don't see how anybody can defend him. And then he gets mad when you ask him what oh, he's yeah. doing with the money. How is that not a valid question? What? When they ask him, what are you doing with the money? He beats around and gets, it's offensive. He said he didn't do anything with the money yet. It's still... I mean, because he can, I mean, if he does have the money, he can live off the interest if he needed to. Yeah, if he bit. has the money. He got the money. What I mean, but people just, people decide to give money who they want to give it to. Exactly. So, I lost respect for him. I think it's on those situation. people, if they decided, I mean, I do like some of the stuff he said, especially about mental illness. Right. And ADHD and that lost. false diagnosis of black kids in school when they're right. younger. To keep them into that exactly. same situation. They, like, that, I that's just real. believe that. That's real. And I, I think I would give my money to a uh, Dr. Umar trying yeah, to trying Umar. to trying to uh, get a school for young black boys and young black girls than anything else. You would give him your money. I would you give him my money. I don't with? care. I know what he's trying to. I don't do. know what the IRS is doing with my saying, money. Exactly. I don't know what I'm paying taxes for. Look, my stance is I don't want to. We're forced to pay taxes. Exactly. I don't want to pay taxes. Actually, and you're not. Choose, well, yeah, you are. You, but you are. are. Actually, there's no real law about taxes, and that it's. Uh oh. It was that goes back to sovereignty. And are you going that far back? Is that what you're talking about? No. Oh, when they created. Uh oh. When they created taxes, that was only supposed to be for a limited time. I understand. Mm -hmm. And they just kept like, it going. Just like the McRib. And why didn't they ever stop it? <laughs> so stupid. It was just like the McRib. <laughs> so mad at it. For a limited time, <laughs> for a limited time only. Okay, so I, but I guess my stance at the end of the day is if I'm going to choose where I'm putting my money, I don't think it hurts if I say, where is it going? Because even with our taxes, even if we wanted to, they might give us some a fake budget of where the money's going. Oh, it's to. definitely going to be fake. It, it, it exactly. might be fake, but they're going to produce something. <clears throat> the issue with Umar is when they said, "Oh, what are you doing with the money?" He he's got, not as big as the government. He's one I don't guy. Care. No, hold on, stop it. Oh my god, stop it, man. stop it. He's a non for profit. So for me, I'm like, if they ask him, he got offended. Why is your initial reaction to get mad That's at not why people? He got offended. That is why he got offended. He got offended because people was coming at him. They were sending him all kind of emails and stuff saying, "You stole the money." You stole. No, if somebody he got offended him, by a, a woman thief. who said that when it when when he first showed his anger and got into it with Boyce Watkins, he got into it with a woman who said, "I donated." 
what have what, we just want to know where are we at with the money what is actually happening and this was somebody who donated and he got mad and that's not the reason why I actually lost respect for Umar. I lost respect for Umar over that stripper incident. And not because he slept he said he with the stripper. He didn't know her. He just took the picture. No. Not, not because he slept with the stripper. Because what happened with him was that How the... How you know he slept with her? He, he got... It, whether he slept with her or How not... How you know he slept with her? Hold up. Well, she showed messages. I don't know if they're real or not. Messages he, ain't he, actually sticking. Okay, dude. He slept with her. He, he, uh, my stamp allegedly... So my stance with the reason why I was irritated with him was he got mad at her because he went on some interview <clears throat> saying that um, he was celibate. She came out. All she did was come out and say, how are you celibate when you slept with me? That's basically You got to see where the celibacy starts. You can't just, uh, is it a Bill, Bill Clinton type celibacy? Yeah, what do you I mean, understand? You can, you can say, I'm going, I'm celibate from now on. Until I get so he was celibate to start that day. All she did was come out and say that because he went on this whole. He was preaching supposedly in this interview about the importance of celibacy, yet he wasn't practicing it. To me, there was nothing wrong with whether or not he was celibate or not. I didn't care. My issue was how he started to talk about that lady afterwards. Right? She was all types of hoes and this <laughs> and that, but she wasn't all that stuff when you was when you was in her. That's different. And then, and then my yes, thing was, was he started. <laughs> she was still home. How, yeah. how are you supposed to be the king of Pan Africanism? That's what he, he calls said he himself. Was a prince. A prince, king, whatever he wants to call himself. <laughs> my stance is how can you do that and then not uplift that black woman that's a stripper? That's You know what I'm saying? Because she's still a part of this. She, I guess that's feel like everybody can't go with us. Yeah, you can't go with us. I can't say go with us. And I'm going to go ahead and knock that down. Wait, I'm going to go ahead and knock that down and get mad when you call me out for knocking you down? Yes, because you messed up the code. Yeah. What's the code? Shut your damn mouth code. It's not going to leave your ass back here. We was cool. We was cool. I hit it. We was supposed to go on about our lives. Now you're over here talking. Fuck you. Jazz wow. <laughs> wow. That's what we do? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's the nigga code, code, man. It's the nigga code. She ain't a nigga. Talk about him. <laughs> <laughs> what she was? Well, she was black, but I'm saying he's saying nigga code like bro code type shit. Mm. That is kind of what he was saying. Right? That is what he was saying. She know yeah. that code, too. She, she knows it. She, 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 she knows she wants to come out and say nothing. You see no. His problem was he didn't have good PR. He, because of his like anger, whatever management, he should have put somebody in the front to like deal with that kind of stuff and put out a letter. Just put out something. Did you see how we responded to Sarah Sue and Seti? Oh, I mean, that was a long video. So my stance is when people are defending him. Look at how he responded to Sarah Sue and Seti. He basically said light-skinned people ain't black. Yeah. So how are we still defending this? My mom a light skin. <laughs> My mom is black and uh, <laughs> I know this for a fact. That's crazy. I but, mean, I'm uh, just saying, he went that far. Oh, oh, That's how far Umar Johnson went. What are you saying? What was he Gosh. saying? Mixed race? Man, look, I got y'all. No, he, he wasn't said, saying mixed I race. I think he said mixed race. He did not Don't say mixed race. Video. Please. We'll watch it later. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Okay. I don't know. We are frozen. Maybe we're not What's up, frozen Trey? people. Oh, damn. I guess it ain't that dark. Huh? Oh, we did free. We froze up a key. If you look at the light. Yeah, you yeah. I don't know. I'm just doing it. Oh, okay. Click out and click back in. See how that works. Uh, oh, did it mess up? Yeah. For real? Leave me alone. I like mine. It's like it's chocolatey. Yeah, I like that. So, so we're off. We're done. No, we're Colin done. Kaepernick. Last, last, last thing we talked about. I think we're kind of wearing it about now. that. Yeah, we did. No. Okay, what did you want to talk about? Uh, the charges. Who, what, who, we, uh, who almost picked them up? See oh, Hawks. I know somebody almost picked them up. Seattle Seahawks. No, yeah. no, they did. They was almost yeah, picked them up. Yeah, but they asked him, was he going to still continue his protest? And he said, yes. yes. And they said, sorry, no. <laughs> they said, cancel, bitch, you cancel, like on New Jack City. Oh, remember that? On New Jack City? No, I don't want to bitch. Cancel this bitch. I can't believe that. <laughs> well, why would you, you know this guy wasn't going to, you know he wasn't going to bend the knee to y'all about this situation. No, basically, he can forgive the NFL. It's not happening. 
So whatever he he's going to do, like they were discussing this. Uh, it's two talk shows I, I listen to on Talk Urban Radio. Mm-hmm. I need to tell you to listen to those. But okay. they were talking about what is he going to do next? Like, because I know he pushes his right his nonprofits, his mm-hmm. his you know community stuff. So he'll probably just do that because I don't think any NFL teams going to take him. Nah, they, they, right they, yeah. don't, they don't want that type of uh, press. They they yeah. too they too own him for that. They own him too hard for for actually nothing. Y'all agree? Yeah. Damn, Cap. And he's looking out for the the young black folks that's getting done wrong, and they don't want him to look out for young black folks that's getting done wrong. They don't. Ain't that crazy? Y'all don't need a superhero. Y'all don't y'all don't need a role model. Okay. NFL you be a role model, this would happen to you. We cut you off. NFL we cut you off. We NFL. cut your money off. No, they want like Young Thugger and then, like Birdman to be role models. Yeah. Because they, yeah. they, they keep them going. Yeah. You know, they don't ever right. just disappear. You, you some different artists. Don't say Birdman because we don't like him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God>. yeah. <laughs> those type of people. Yeah. I'm just saying in general, yeah. those type of people. <laughs> we, don't, we don't like him at all. Hey, well, hey. I wasn't going to say the Migos because I like them, but. I didn't like the nigga. Like a talk it. Hey, what? Like a talk it. Hey, wait, have you seen the Dr. Seuss one? No. Uh, that was walk, funny. It, walk it in my pocket. Yeah, something, something like, that. like that. I saw that. Yeah. Walk it in, in my, my pocket. pocket. <laughs> <laughs> and Dr. Seuss was doing this red book through the whole meeting. And then they were at the match and everything. Oh, yeah. I was like, this is retarded. I'm going to have to watch it. I'm going to have to look it up. Damn, Cap, man. Just. I mean, yeah, he ain't gonna do it. He's not gonna do it. No, no, I won't. No, keep doing what you're doing, man. Fuck you, NFL. I'm gonna still watch y'all, but fuck you, NFL. Shit. Yeah, they were saying, protest where's all the protests? Ain't nobody protesting the NFL. You can't no protest more. them? You gonna I protest can't. Starbucks? I didn't even one. go today. Okay, I can go to Starbucks. I didn't even go to Starbucks today, and I'm actually wrong. I still have my little rewards. Who's the Starbucks likes us? I wouldn't use the restroom early. What the key? Use them Starbucks. And I didn't even buy that yet before I went to the restroom. They, they pretty. I said, my God, you said, bro. Here you go, man. I said, thank See you. That? So like, that's that's why we can't get nothing going because people don't want to continue no. to protest. No, mm-hmm. that's one twenty. They give in. They be it's like, oh, no, I ain't got nothing to do with no. me. It's always it's excuses. Ninety three times one. Just to say eleven, and now says five. That, that's that's what y'all problem is now. Look yeah. at them. Yeah. Look at them over there. Star You shouldn't be going either. Man, uh, okay. NFL watching. I'll drink orange juice in the morning. Damn. Well, I actually I got a little cousin playing for the NFL. Oh my god. Cause I don't know how to make that coffee like that. I do. My stuff right here, like the caramel and all that stuff in there. You can still go, you know, you can go to oh, almost, still alive right here. almost any other oh, shop. Uh, yeah, and just tell them what you like <laughs> and don't make it. And what crazy? I got like a little Wait, wait, wait. What y'all talking about? Huh? Still talking about Starbucks? <laughs> hey, y'all some fiends. Y'all some Starbucks fiends. <laughs> I don't even know a crap. I'm not even a fan like that. I'm just like, I wouldn't even have Starbucks in maybe like a month, really. And I just went today because it was like right there by the J. I'm like, man, boy, that's last one. That's kind of how Fridges was. I, when I, I used to eat fridges, I used to, I used to yeah. like I not eat them, and then I'd be like, I need some fridges I was at today. TSU, I mean, I went maybe like two, three times, and then after that, I was like... That's why I miss Silky fridges. Yeah. Little spicy ass, salty ass chicken. 2001. Oh, you said that's how y'all met? 2001? Yeah, almost 2001. Two years ago. Eating chicken. Eating chicken. <laughs> what you eat? What you eat? I was ordering some fridges. I said, hey, come here, girl. She's like... I don't think that happened. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think and that. Then she was, she was I don't like, think that happened. She was like, Let's believe that didn't happen. I was and like, hey. We so <laughs> were ending with like, you doing your like, made up. You know, okay. You need to ride. Ride. Like, okay. You know, I do care about the little slow kids, so I try to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had my homeboy with me that day. I'm slobbering at the mouth. He had dreads and everything. Yeah, he had locked. He was locked, locked down. Locked up. Damn, I got locked up. Did we, wait, did we talk about black business? Who? What? Did we talk about black business? No, yeah. that's what we. I, I mean, don't want you next. When we no, that's what that, we did talk about black business. The coffee shops. Oh, I thought, what I thought, else? Oh, sure that's what I was talking about. I thought I thought we were talking about started, then we kind of just fell into that, but then I thought I thought we, we need to have a lot of our own business so we can go places, so when we get kicked out, so we won't be on the <laughs> corner. Fuck Starbucks. And I'm going to. Thoroughbred. Thoroughbred, yeah. Thoroughbred. Yeah, 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 uh, uh, caffeine, what is, what's the other one? Uh, caffeine uh, coffee shop. And, and caffeine coffee shop. I forgot. 
And Cronville, we can go to Cronville and, and get our cookies. We can go to our vegan shops. If y'all eat vegan, you I, eat. I, I, I eat every day. Yes, that's delicious too. We got green sea vegan, and we got uh, sunshine. 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 Nice. That's the name of the place. Sunshine. Yes. Sunshine food. Is it close? Food store. I think they call it. Yeah, it's closest on uh, OST and. Yellowstone? It's kind of like that weird the way it kind of yeah, like merged. Mm -hmm. Yellowstone go in a triangle right into uh, yeah. right there, right there. Dang, the I can't there. believe I even knew that. Oh, right there. That's good. good. Uh, uh, My directions is open. Google Maps. For me, I'm like, I'm like, oh, look, even though I wrote this, I'm just going to type this in. So, what about what else? Black businesses. Like Isn't who's it? your favorite beautician? Your stylist? Your uh, myself? Your barber? <laughs> your oh, I go to uh, my barber name is Lacey. Uh, Lace it up over there off of uh, Fine Train and Brazewood, I believe that is the cross street. Of course, I don't can't remember this seamstress name, but she made me a lot of clothes. I can't remember her name. I'll find it. She's in Missouri City, but she's I really good. Cool. She clothes. does a lot of weddings. She actually does a lot of, uh, like, I think her, her husband is Nigerian. But she does a lot of weddings, like, with traditional. Mm -hmm. And she does all this stuff. Everything is so pretty. Mm -hmm. All her stuff is amazing. She's on Facebook. I can't remember. I don't even know about the scene. Ain't nothing. I'm good right now. Y'all need a photo booth, though. Y'all go have my girl snap by Nicole. That's the homie. Ah, right. snap by Nicole. She also does t-shirts too, so you need any printing done in your shirts. Yes. Well, I how do. Snap by Nicole. Yeah, and actually my niece, well, not my niece, but my little cousin in um, Phoenix, she does photography. Danielle. Uh-huh. So she's on Facebook. Danielle Ooh. Chambers. Mo photography. All right. Promos by Michelle. Photography and video. Ken Maurice. My boy Alan with JF Studios, all that. Yeah, I wanted to talk about that too. The Starbucks new CEO that they named for Starbucks is, of course, a black woman. They just said that this morning. Look at that. Oh, how convenient. And then this happens today. Very <laughs> convenient. How wow. convenient. Oh, we still alive. Oh, okay, cool. Because I remember I, I just tapped the other. Duncan, too. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Duncan, too. What's Duncan, Frank? Maybe Duncan Donuts. Duncan Donuts? Donut? I'm about to eat that. People yeah, love that Dunkin' Donuts coffee. They yeah, love the coffee, coffee is cool. I, I hear people Dunkin talk about that. Like that that McDonald's, you know. Yeah, you, know, yeah, you, know I'm a, you know, I'm going to go buy me a Shippers. Yeah, yeah, that would be a good idea. <laughs> Shit, niggas eat Shippers. They, <laughs> they really do. A mm -hmm. lot of people. Even though I ain't going to lie, I hate Shippers. Um, what's that damn thing called with the, with the wings? Kalachi? Yeah. I hate, I hate Shippers Kalachis. You said on the inside. Yeah, motherfucking bread be this. And then the motherfucking weenie be this motherfucker right here. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Frankie Beans. I was just about to say, where you gonna say, can you get a bigger? Uh, yeah, but I was like, well, y'all know what I want. That's what it sounded like he was about to say. I need uh, more. Um, Give me more weenie. <laughs> <laughs> I need more meat. <laughs> I ain't gonna say that. Else. <laughs> I need more meat in this. <laughs> there y'all go, with all that moistness. Right. You right. want more. <laughs> You know what I am mean? Did you come across? I kept looking up there. What was it? Brother Elevation. Oh, no, I, I kept saying Brother African. But I couldn't remember what it was. I don't know if it was Brother something. Brother oh, Elevation. Nice. I need to come on tonight. Well, I was thinking about, well, did you guys see Winnie Mandela's funeral? No. Oh, it was really it was nice. nice. Uh, really nice. Good. Really nice. And 84? 80? Was she 84? She was, 80 she was up there. 80 something. Well, but know. sadly, none of our dignitaries went to it. Like, none of our people from the U.S. Mm -hmm. Shady, man. You saw my face? Shady. Somebody. Wow. I was like, really? For Winnie? She held that dude down? Yeah. That dude, Nelson, she <laughs> held him down. <laughs> she you know, held like, him down. Hold on, do you know, like, um, the height of it being mm. militant was actually all Winnie? It was all he was Winnie. In prison. Yeah. yeah, when he, he came in, out, he got out because of her. Yeah. Exactly. She held. And they're not. And, but she, they he divor divorced her because he wasn't still on that stuff. And that that's right. He was trying to be the, all kumbaya. Because what people really oh, need to see yeah. is why they release you, Nelson. 
Exactly. What deal did you make? Exactly. Now, you know, I know he dead and all, but I'm just saying. <laughs> what deal well, did well, you tell make? Us, tell us what you know. I'm just saying, know. it looks like he made some sort of deal uh, to appease both sides, or the other side, really. And that's I think that's really why they got a divorce because she was not listening to him. Well, yeah. yeah. How, how long was he locked up? Because I think they got divorced in like three months of him coming out. Yeah. <laughs> he was in there for yeah. like 30, 40 she years. Did, she did all that fighting to get him out. I think I would made a deal too. For real. Get me out of here. Yeah. Uh, what <laughs> y'all want? Get me out of here. 30, 30, 45 years out of Rim Hill. What you need? What you need? Talk to your boy. But yeah, huh? all that stuff that was going on, that was winning. It was all winning. And they didn't even respect her enough to go. But they keep like, giving it to, the credit to Nelson. Yeah, and it wasn't him. Because mm-hmm. after he got out, oh, it, she was it basically part. got janky at the end. It turned into that same type of uh, apartheid feel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you know that there's some guy, I guess he's running for some sort of office. and Yeah, you guys saw yeah. that video. Yeah. Remember he was talking yeah. about it? He was talking big shit. Reason. But you know what's funny about that? Because there's people, I met a guy when I was in Colorado and he was like, um, I've, I've experienced racism. And he was talking about how he went to South Africa in like 97. And I said, okay, you went to South Africa right around when apartheid ended. Right. And how did you think these people were going to treat you? Like, what are we talking about here? Like, literally, because apartheid ended in, like, 95. Right. And then you're like, oh, yeah, I experienced racism. Were they supposed to welcome you? Hey. I'm like, it literally just ended. <laughs> it, it, it just in. ended. Hey, welcome. Bring it in. <laughs> Come on. That's just like when people are going to Cuba now, and then, like, some people come back with, like, Oh, uh, it's still kind of weird there. Well, it just, we just were our, it just, they just started letting the US <laughs> in for real. So they really don't even like, like that. Bring it in. We're sorry. Come Bring on. it in. Yeah, right. There's some coconuts. Oh, wow. <laughs> and they still got Asada over there. So, um, and they not, and they not giving the US her. So, mm-hmm. oh, well. Are we going to die? Uh, uh Syria. Syria. Are we gonna die? Yeah. They, Man. They, what's trying, the, they trying to go to I'm war. A, what's, the, what's the cornerest of Houston that I can go to? I don't think they're gonna hit them corners. <laughs> so I was listening to something. They basically said we've been bombing Syria. Yeah. Like, even before Obama. Yeah, yeah. yeah they So it, it's, it's just an ongoing, it's just continued. We have never stopped. No, we are bullies. Like, they're trying to give us home. Home. We're, we're definitely bullies. We go over there, we go anywhere and just start fucking up shit. What they trying to get from over there? The, was it the Syrians yes, and the Palestinians, so. right? Mm-hmm. It's about that little piece of Jerusalem, the land. Which is why it's interesting when, because technically what people don't realize is the U.S. took a side. We've just never said we took a side. Right. Trump came out and said we took a side. Right. Even though, people got mad, even though we've kind of always taken a side. Always. The, U- the U.S. is for their own interest. So they raise money so much for Israel. Like, a lot of, like, Christian, those big Christian groups, mm-hmm. they raise, a, they do a yeah. lot. They raise mm-hmm. a lot of money for Israel. Mm-hmm. They do benefit. Even the government, all these people, they all, they all in it. It's not. And to me, I don't think we should have ever taken a side because we're not supposed to be religious. That's my ending stance. I know I've already had this argument. Well, Trump's not religious, but that's another story. But I'm saying I've had this argument with people where they're like, "Oh, but you know, they're the real out." Since they're gone, we've migrated throughout years to different lands in on Earth. You know, if you're gone, you're gone. So we're gonna not put you back. No, you're gone. That's my stance. Yeah, it's over. Unless we want to go back. What does that mean? What's wrong with it? What does that mean? Go back what? Unless somebody want to go back. Somewhere where they come from or whatever. Does that make sense? You haven't been there since God knows when. Literally. And now all of a sudden, oh, I want to go back. What? There's people living there now. We've migrated. There's been so much migration throughout the years. It's not as simple as saying I'm going back and taking this land back from. Not saying take. I didn't say. That is what's happening. They're trying to take the land back. That's literally what the fight is over. Okay, but I wasn't talking about. Taking any land back. That's what they're doing. They're trying to take, kick these people out their homes that've been living there for many years. The Palestinians, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, <laughs> oh, you don't want to hear about real, real <laughs> shit. I mean, I did want to hear it until she told me I can't go nowhere. <laughs> you can go somewhere. 
somewhere. That's Where do you want to go? That's what I'm talking about. Marcus Garvey tried to send you, you your ancestors back a long time ago. You didn't get on yeah, the Black Star. He was trying to send them to uh, 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 Liberia. Liberia. And that place, they've messed that place up. Is it? Liberia. Ooh. So, like, I mean, like I mean, Liberia. Liberia, so Liberia is. Uh, What's the girl Michael Jackson was singing? Was it the American Red Cross was having a blast in Liberia? What, what happened? So the Red Cross, Red Cross, Red Cross, mm -hmm. they're having a blast in Liberia, giving them all them vaccines, they're killing them. Yeah, smallpox again. Give me shit. They keep doing the same tricks over and over. But what? you actually might have some family in Liberia. I might. Because like, a lot of people did go back. On the black <laughs> yeah, a lot of people, yeah. I got some cousins over there. If anyone knows about Marcus Garvey, he did the Exodus back to Africa movement. What was it, 1930s? Yeah. <laughs> he don't know. He don't know. I didn't hear you until yeah. that. Yes. 1930s, and so yes. he was building a ship, basically, to send everybody <laughs> he was gonna go back to Africa. Yeah. It was called the Black Star. <laughs> Black Star took the ship away. line. Oh, this is a random ass. So that was all the ship line we had. Because yeah. I said something about some damn smallpox. Do, uh, do kids still get chicken pox? Remember how we was little? Like, we used to so they know. Know. Oh no, they have that. There's 300 list of vaccines for no, people they get, get now. They're not getting chicken pox anymore. They're getting food allergies. They eating peanuts and dying. Yeah. Oh, okay. When, so we, no. when we grew up yeah. on peanut butter. Yeah. yeah. Peanut butter and jelly. I have to say one other thing. So yeah, I do. But that's all the vaccines. I do know the vaccines. I just thought about that. Have heightened little kids' allergies. Yeah. Like both and autism. Both my nephews. I heard about that autism. Well, the two-year-old and the five-year-old, especially the five-year-old, he can't eat much of anything. Everything he's allergic to, almost everything. You need to feed him maybe raw honey first before he eats any of that. Yeah, my baby over because the bees, uh, it got to be local because the bees pollinate and it's they got all whatever allergenic, uh, anti allergies in the antibiotics. Honey. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Are y'all allergic to anything? Anybody? I'm allergic to ant bites. Well, I used to be you allergic know? to ant bites, lactose. Like any other name. I'm just saying. It's, no, it's like pretty bad. Are you talking about like shrimp, shellfish, stuff oh, like that? Yeah. Is. Pollen. <laughs> Oh, well, I yeah. Into that. yeah. I, I, guess, I guess it's pollen. It, unless they Dirt, put something in the air. Yeah. They, they could. could. Somebody else under there. I, I was in the desert. All that dirt out there. I was, the there, and I was sick uh, as I was so when shit. I came home. Came back here. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's something with the weather in Houston. So I ain't got no allergies. I ain't allergic to shit. I go That's back to Phoenix, so you feel so dry. I'm so happy. So clear. Now I come back here and I sound like this. And my eyes are watery. Now, unless I get that fiber up in them, uh, them fruit loops, who's got that fiber in fucking my stomach? I went straight to the toilet. Get, to <laughs> get it out of me! <laughs> Move out of the way! Uh, I'm fucking fruit loops. The cinnamon toast crunch gets you too if you eat too much. You know, all that cinnamon and the milk. Well, I think it's the milk. milk more than the cereal. You know what gives me? It's more the food. Rice fiber is the mother. Crispy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fiber. No, fiber will get you. And, mm -hmm. and they got the fiber the in there. Fiber is good. Clearly, it is. Clean your eyes. Sure. Sure. Some back up the fiber. But you no, know, like no. black people, like Asians, we're yeah. we're the most lactose intolerant people. Because we're not and supposed Asian. to be drinking cow milk. No, milk from a cow's titty. Like that doesn't make any sense. I don't even know who came up with that. Somebody was like, damn, this shit tastes good. The oppressor. <laughs> <laughs> they oppressor. They, they like to call them colonizers now. From yeah. black, I hear everybody keep calling them call it colonizers. Saying, the colonizers came up with that. Why would you drink cow's milk? I don't know. I said something. One day somebody's probably fucking with the cow. Somebody got that shit on their hand. <laughs> and then like, you know, I said, the fuck? And this shit kind of good. Then, but who was the first person that learned that doing this was going to get milk? Now that's a Ooh, nasty them cow. That's a nasty cow. Squeezing them cow's titties. Shit, I guess it's the same one. Oink, 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 oink. That's nasty. That's a pervert. That's a pervert. Yeah. The person that started that. They probably saw it was full. They probably saw it was like, what the fuck is that? Probably accidentally punched it. Pow. And then like some milk came out. Remember all the the fucker? Meet the Pockers. Yeah, I do remember that shit. <laughs> you said the name of that room. I know. <laughs> Meet the Pockers. And he was like, that's the, the black kitty. Milk the cat. 
That was so fucking nasty. <laughs> anyway, anyway, we're watching that. I watched that so long ago, yeah. I don't remember. You need to watch it again, it's super funny. It is. Yeah. We got here just eating animal shit. We find out we can eat shit out the motherfuckers. Yeah, it just evolved. Yeah. But that. Yeah, no, I'm not sure. That's nasty. Hmm. <laughs> well, y'all give y'all social media handles. <clears throat> At DJ Dam D A M N D Rail D R E L L No spaces all together. DJ Dam D Rail on everything. It's um, a long. It's not. And then just uh, find me, Darrell DJ D. Rare. Oh, shit. Write it down. Did you write it down? No, I didn't write it down. Okay. I'm good. No. Fine. Man, <laughs> you can reach me at Nigel P on Instagram. N A I. She don't be posting nothing. I really don't. How do you know what you're looking at my face? Uh, oh, 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 oh. Actually, you told me to look at it the first time we had uh, met each other. You was like, I don't post nothing. And I went on there with fucking three pictures. It's like 12. What is Tom's phone? Uh, <coughs> you know. Oh. S C E T O X girl. That's my Instagram. I should be being me. I got an Instagram. It's Silky Black. Silky underscore Black, I think. And my Facebook is Silky Black. Silky B L A Q. Y'all watch us. Uh, talk up. The show is Talk Up every Monday at seven o'clock. And if you want us in your city, let us know. <laughs> hey, y'all down in trouble? Huh? Let them youngsters pay attention. And then your page is private with your twenty-two posts. It's all about presentation. <laughs> you got twenty-two posts with a private page. <laughs> Cause we're really we looking for y'all. Oh, she, oh, she trolling on oh, on oh, the shade room. We're all over the private <laughs> comments. We are looking for Tell you. Tell my fuck them hoes. These are baby pictures. You be like, what? The fuck? <laughs> Troll. Stop trolling. You ain't got no picture. You I'm just not on social media. I have to be told to go look at something. I'm, I'm yeah, not. I know. Like I'll be all. I mean. I'm, I'm just not big on social media at all. Social media. Well, all right, y'all. We about to cut it off. We about to take peace out. We about to say our goodbyes for the day. Goodbye. What's the day? Sixteen. Four sixteen. Deuces. Eighteen. Y'all be good. Happy birthday, all them. And we out. We out. Cool things.